Hi there, it's Tiffany from Daisy Farm Crafts and today I am sharing the pattern for you for Nora's Baby Blessing Blanket. This is a recreation from a blessing blanket my mother made over 30 years ago using the little fan stitch and her border and her chain network for the ruffle. She made this for my daughter Hannah for her baby blessing and this is Hannah's first little girl and I thought it would be so cute to recreate it for her. So what we have, um, you can tell this was made with acrylic. It's very yellowed because Hannah actually used this as her dizzy. So very well loved, washed multiple, multiple, multiple times in her little life. I think she carried it around with her till she was almost five years old. So Anyway, this little blanket went with us everywhere. But, um, so it is just a series of double crochets. And like I said, this is just a double crochet border and then double crochets with chains. So very simple stitches would just have uh, several lines of pattern that, that switches up. But once you get it going, it's, it's really quite easy. So anyway, I did use six skeins of Bernat Softy Cotton. And the blanket measures 36 inches by 36 inches. So it's it's good size, good size blessing blanket. Okay, well, let's get started. So I am using a G four millimeter hook. And the base chain for the blanket is 158. That's a multiple of six plus two. And that was for uh, about 36 inches wide, including the border. So that actually will give you about 33 inches, I believe. Um, but for today, I'm just going to do, we're going to do a little sample. So let's multiply six times three, which is 18, and then add two, and that's 20. So let's make a base chain of 20. Here we go. In the fifth chain from the hook. So don't count the loop on the, on the hook. Just count one, two, three, four, five. In this fifth chain from the hook, work five double crochets. Now we will skip two chains and work one single crochet into the next chain. Now let's skip another two chains and work five double crochets into the next. Let's skip two chains and then work single crochet into the next. We're going to just repeat this to the end of the row. So your last stitch should be a single crochet in the last chain of the row. Now row two we will chain five.
Turn your work. We're going to skip the first single crochet, skip the first two double crochets, and work one single crochet into that center double crochet from the previous row. Then chain two, skip these two double crochets, and work a double crochet into the top underneath both loops of the single crochet from the previous row. Chain two, work single crochet into the center double crochet, chain two, work double crochet into the single crochet. Chain two, single crochet into the top of that double crochet. And here we are at the end. We will chain two and work one double crochet into the top of that turning chain. Now at the first of this row, you'll remember we chained five. Well, that chain five, three of those chains count for a double crochet plus two chains to go across. And that basically mimics what we're doing at the end of the row. We've got two chains and a double crochet. So those three chains at the first of row two count as a double crochet. Now row three, chain three, turn your work, and right here in the top of that double crochet from the previous row, we're going to work two more double crochets. Now we will work a single crochet into the single crochet from the previous row and we will work our fan or the five double crochets into the top of the double crochet from the previous row. Let's repeat that. We're going to work single crochet into the top of the single crochet and five double crochet into the top of the double crochet. Every row we want to, so one helpful tip is you want to end the row by mimicking what you did at the first of the row. So essentially, remember our chain three counts as a double crochet. So you're going to come over here, find the third chain, and work three double crochets. That's one way to help you keep the sides straight and helping you remember. So if you start a row, you can 
with the three double crochets, by the time you get to the other side, you can look back, remember what you did, and that's how you finish this row. Now we are going to chain one and turn, and this is our little network of chains that we're going to start doing. Very similar to the second row. Let's work one single crochet into the top of that double crochet, chain two, work double crochet into the top of the single crochet, chain two, work single crochet into that center double crochet, chain two, double crochet. So you'll note the pattern in this row, there's always two chains separating the stitch. The single crochet works into the center of the double crochet and that double crochet works into the single crochet. Chain two and we're going to finish the row ending with the one single crochet and that matches, sort of matches what we did at the first of the row making a single crochet and then chaining two. So we're ending with two chains and then a single crochet. Okay, let's work on row five and then that's our last row of pattern. We will chain one and turn. We're going to work one single crochet into the top of that single crochet right there and work double crochet into the top of the double crochets and this is our fan so we will work five double crochets. So in this row of pattern it's pretty easy to remember it's just the fan and a single crochet. Skip and the single crochets work into the top of the single crochets and the fan in top of the double crochet. Now, just like we started the row, let's end the row with one single crochet into the top of that single crochet. And here we go. Let's repeat row two. So we will start by chaining five. Turn our work. Remember this counts as the double crochet and the two chains, you'll work single crochet into the top center of the fan, always chain two, work double crochet, it's kind of opposite. Now we're working the double crochet into the single crochet, chain two, we're working single crochet into the center of the double crochet. Chain two. And let's finish with a double crochet. Okay, repeating row three. This is where we chained three and we worked two double crochets right at the base, kind of make a half of a fan. And 
in this row, we don't have any chains. We're just going to be working those double crochets and single crochets. So let's work a single into singles and the fan works into the top of that double crochet. started the row with essentially the three double crochets. Let's find the third chain from counting up from the base there and work three double crochets. Let's chain one and turn and work a single crochet, kind of start our chain, two chains. Now we're doing the opposite. We're working that double crochet into the top of the single crochet. Always chaining two, working single crochet into the top of that fan. And let's work one last row of the pattern again. So you've got it done two times. This will be, this is the end of row four instructions. Let's work row five one more time. Look how cute that's looking. Such a cute, you really get into a nice rhythm. For, for how intricate it looks, it's really, once you get going, you kind of realize, okay, I'm doing the same thing every other row just a little bit different on the ends. So let's start with a single crochet. This is kind of the fan row. You'll remember singles work into singles on the fan row and doubles, the fan works into a double crochet. working one last single crochet into the end. Okay, so this will be basically what you do until your, your blanket is square. You go as many rows as you need until the blanket is square. So I have completed the blanket by finishing on after row four. So then what we will do is chain three and turn and you're going to start working double crochets i worked three double crochets on either side of the work here of the of this double crochet and three between the double crochet and the single crochet we're going to start doing our round of border, which is double crochet, all going in the exact same direction. So I just, for this, the top of this blanket, I skipped working in there and I just worked three double crochets around the chain two spaces.
Now when you get to this final um, single crochet of the row, go ahead and work three double crochets into that single crochet. And now as we work down the side of the blanket, we will work two double crochets for each, uh, the side of each double crochet, per maybe say per row. And then you work two or you know one double crochet around the single crochet rows or rows that end with single crochet work one double crochet rows that end with either the chain three or the double crochet work two double crochets when i get to the corner here i'm going to work three uh, double crochets. And then the same thing over in this corner, make sure you work three double crochets and same, the same thing on the side here and I'll meet you when we join the round. All right, I am back to the starting chain three and I'm just going to work two more double crochets really close to the base of that chain three. That kind of will count as our corner. Let's see here, yeah. And then I will slip stitch to that chain three. Make sure that looks like we could make it a corner here. And one, two, three, chain three. We're not going to turn our work or anything we are going to just continue working around. So let's work one double crochet per the top of each double crochet. And I'll show you what we're gonna do around the corners because it's really want these corners to fan around. Now, when we get to our first corner, what we are going to do is you see our three stitches. We'll work two double crochets in the first stitch, three in the middle stitch, and two on the third stitch. So two double crochets. This is our center stitch, we'll still work three. We just want to get have a little bit of extra going around the corner so we can, you know, be prepared for the ruffle look here. And then two double crochets coming out of the corner in that final third double crochet of the previous row. Okay, that's how we're going to do our corners. So it's two, three, two. And then so just keep going around. We've got five rounds of all double crochet here. So let's do these corners. I'll show you how to join the round here. Okay, so at here. this corner, remember we did kind of those three double crochets. Kind of guess where they are. Do the same thing. I'm going to do these final double crochets. They kind of become our corner here. So... Work two in the first one, three in the center one, and then two more, and then we'll join. Or you can all actually almost, it's gonna be up to you. If you feel like you've got enough, just use the chain three as the th the second one but if you want to make sure you have enough that are going around the corner work another one and then I just join I'm gonna join to the top of that double crochet right there it kind of hides the chain and then we're good okay so we you will do 
Let me show you on this blanket. Five rounds of that. Or did I do four? One, two, three, four. Four rounds of the double crochet. Continuing to do the corners. So we'll chain three. Let me get you over to this first corner. And work. And this time when you get over to the corner, you can ignore the two and just look for the one that has the three and work two, three, two. So these that are two, we just start work one, one. We're only gonna increase on the double crochet that we worked three. So that's our, our new corner, okay? So work around. I'll do one more round of that and then I'll show you how to do the next round, which is two double crochets, skip a stitch, and then we do the chain network. Okay, I just finished this second round. So look, I say you're gonna do two more rounds if you'd like. Um, and this just turned out great that I worked in this final, you know, three in the previous row, you work the three in the center double crochet, and then I work two, and now it's just working out great. When you join, I still am joining over to the top of the other double crochet, pull through, and then that that chain just really disappears in your work. Now we're gonna so, work on the V-stitch round. Let's begin by just working one double crochet into the base of that turning chain, chain one, skip one, work two double crochets, into the top of one double crochet of the previous row, chain one, skip one. Skip one, so we're always working two double crochets and then a chain one and we're skipping one and working two double crochets. And when we get to the corner, we're just going to omit skipping. So we will just work two double crochets, chain one, don't skip. Just work. Chain one, just make sure you're chaining one in between each pair of double crochets. Okay, I will finish this round and meet you back. And then I'll show you how we're gonna begin the chain, the chain network part of the ruffle. See, it's already kind of starting to ruffle. So I'm just Very going cute. to work my last V stitch and join the round. Chain one. And now we can work the beginning of what I call the chain network. And you're going to have four rounds of this. So just chain three. We're always going to chain three. And chain two, let's see, three more. This counts as your double crochet and chain three. And then you work one double crochet into the top of each double crochet with three chains in between. So one, two, three, and double crochet. You don't need to worry about the chain ones from the row below. We can skip over those. Just make sure you work one double crochet into the top of each double crochet.
and that will just keep going around and around. You don't need to do anything special for the corners. The Just one double crochet per, that'll get you around the corner and you'll just start getting this, you know, look at the cute little ruffle around the whole blanket. So when you finish this round, you'll just come here, you'll join with a slip stitch, chain six, and begin again. And on the last round, you'll just join and tie off. So you will get, you know, just let me show you this little border again. And I actually wimped out after three rounds, but my mom did four. So I'm gonna let you decide, but it got a little bit tedious for me and I was running out of time and I just wanted to get it finished. So anyway, it is a beautiful blanket, and uh, I hope that you enjoy this pattern, and thank you so much for stopping by. I really have been so blessed to share what I'm making for my grandbabies, for my friends, with all of you, and I'm just so grateful, really, really grateful for each and every one of you. You have a wonderful day.